Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add extra email field validation to your Contact Form 7. Now, Contact Form 7 does have some validation. It checks to make sure that the email syntax is correct. So it will check to make sure that there's an at symbol. It will check to make sure that there's no illegal characters before or after the at symbol. And it will make sure that there is a top level domain at the end of the email, such as the .com or .org, .biz, .net, that kind of thing. And if all those things exist, then the email is validated by the default contact form seven. But people can go in there and they can create a totally fake email. They can create XYZ at XYZcompany.com. And that's okay. Contact form seven validates that as a true email address and then you get spam email is essentially what, what that boils down to. So to fix that or to try to combat that, a uh, plugin developer developed a plugin that checks with the DNS to make sure that the domain name being entered is actually a real domain name, which cuts back substantially on spam. However, you can still get fake emails. So for example, a spammer could write in there that their email is bob at google.com, even though it's not, it would be validated because google.com is a real domain and bob at google.com could be a real email. So it's not going to get rid of all spam, but it's definitely going to cut it down. So if we take a look at an existing form, I'll quickly show you what the contact seven uh, validation looks like in the wild, just the regular one. So if I quickly fill this out with some demo data and put in my wplearninglab.com email address, if I take out the period before the .com and click on send, we're gonna get an error message saying it's not valid. Now if I add that period and I click on send, that email is sent as it should, which is great. But if I go back here and do this again, and I put in some crazy email address like this, which is likely not a real domain. If I copy and paste this into a new tab, go to that page, it doesn't exist. It's not a real domain. However, this could be a valid email address. And if when I click send, contact form seven is going to allow it. And it's gonna, and it's gonna send that message with that completely crazy email address. And what the DNS lookup plugin does, it's, it stops email addresses like that. The ones that don't actually come from real domain names. So we're gonna install this plugin right now. We're gonna to go to plugins and then add new. We'll type in contact form seven email validation. And this is the one that I use right up here. Click on install now and then activate. And now we have nothing else to do. The plugin is activated and it's already applied to all of your forms that have an email field. So if we go back to this basic contact form and refresh this page and then type in our dummy data again. And I'm gonna put this crazy email back in. Now this will not be validated because it's not a valid domain name. If I try to click on send, it's gonna throw an error saying email address is not valid, DNS resolution failed. Because the, the plugin tried to look up this domain name to see if it was real, it wasn't real, so it blocked the email address. But if I put in a real email address, like this one, and click on send, now everything checks out and the email has been sent as we can see from this message down here. So this plugin helps cut back on spam. It'll also help if people are typing in their email address and they make an error. They might have the correct syntax, but they may have added an extra letter here or there so that the domain name actually doesn't resolve. So then this error will help them fix their email address before they submit it to you. An email confirmation field can help with that sort of thing as well. Uh, but I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.